Here we have an MSI GTX 1070 that came in for no detect. The card is not being detected by the computer. It looks something like this. We already disassembled the board. And I have the board right over here. The board looks something like this. Let's read what the customer wrote. 1070 kept cutting in and out last year. Then it stopped working completely. One day I decided to take it afar, afar, and clean it with my air duster and a brush. Put it back together and back in a PC. And it worked for a day. Then it stopped displaying again. So the card worked. It stopped working, he cleaned it, he put it back, it worked, and then it stopped working. Let's plug this card into our motherboard here. We're going to test it. I want to verify what the customer wrote. All right, so we have our 8-pin cable connected, our 6-pin cable connected, so we have 12 volts and 12 volts. And let's turn the power supply on. Now with this motherboard, if the card is not being detected, it will beep six times to indicate that the card is not being detected. Let's see. So that tells us that the card is not being detected. And that's why the motherboard is beeping six times. So we know that the card So we know the card is not being detected by the computer because of the six beeps. So while the card is on, let's go ahead and measure voltages. We're going to measure 12 volts at both coils. We have two coils here. And we should be able to read 12 volts on each one of the coils. If we measure here, 12.21. I'm not sure if you can read the meter, but you'll have to trust me. And coil number two. 12.25. We also have 12 volts on the bottom here at the coil. So let's go ahead and measure it. And we do have 12.24. Next, I'm going to jump over to our 5 volts line. And that can be measured at the coil on the left here. And what reading are we getting? Zero. So our 5 volts line is reading zero. And without 5 volts, we're not going to get 1.8 volts. We're not going to get V-Core, V-Man, PAC, so on and so forth. So it does not make sense to troubleshoot the card further until we fix our 5 volts circuit. So right now, while the card is on, I want to do a few measurements. And then I'll tell you what I did and what I measured. I do not have a close-up camera to show you what I'm doing here. But I'll explain to you later. I'm checking for the enable signal and VCC on the U2 chip, the step down converter. And I think I already found the problem. 5 volts enable is not present. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on. Let's take a look here. So I measured 5 volts at the coil here, and we got 0 volts. Right next to that coil, we see the U2 chip. That's the step-down converter. And we should read 12 volts at pin number 2. And then we have our enable signal at pin number 6, which is here. And then we have VCC at pin number 7. So I'm interested in 12 volts. I'm interested in enable, and I'm interested in VCC. Now, our enable signal is coming from the top here, from this resistor, and that's a 1 kilo ohm resistor. It measures 3.3 volts on the top, and then 5 volts on the bottom. So I am getting 3.3 volts on the top, but we are getting 0 volts on the bottom here. So I suspect that we have a problem with this component. This component, based on my experience working on this specific card, should measure 1 kilo ohm, meter in ohms mode. What does this resistor read? And look at that, 421 kilo ohms. It should read 1 kilo ohm, and we see 421 kilo ohms. So <laughs> that's it. We found our problem, hopefully.
I'm not sure that this resistor will fix the issue, but it's reading very high. And a very high reading on the resistor is going to prevent voltage from reaching its destination. Let's go ahead and desolder the resistor. And we're going to replace it with a new 1 kilo ohm resistor. And the resistor is size 402 SMD component. Hopefully, we found the culprit. Right now, it's 6.30. We close at 6. So I just want to finish this video card and go home. I just added flux to the tip of my tweezer so we can grab that component. And we're going to solder that resistor right over here. Let's see if we can do this with our hot tweezers. And yes, we can. Great. Let's measure now. What readings are we getting now? And now we are reading 1K. Not 425K, but we are reading 1K. And the resistor should read 1K based on my experience working on those cards. So hopefully that fixes the problem. Let's go ahead and try it now. And why not plug our HDMI cable? And let's see, power supply on. Are we gonna hear six beeps? Are we gonna hear six beeps or are we gonna see something on the screen? We heard six beeps. Let me measure again. Alright, so now we have 5 volts. Look at this. We do have 5 volts now. Look at the meter. Now our coil is reading 5 volts, but the card is still not working. Why is the card not working? And if we measure our 1.8 volt line, we are getting 1.8 volts. So right now we restored the 5 volt line, which brought back 1.8 volts. We are getting 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, 5 volts, and 1.8 volts. But the card is still not working. What if we measure our PEX rail? Zero. And if we measure from the back, right now we cannot measure the coils from here, V-core. So we're going to have to do it from the back. Okay, so right now our VMAM is reading 1.4 volts and VCore is reading zero. And now we have an idea on all voltage readings on the board. Right now we have 12 volts, we have 12 volts, we have 12 volts, we have 5 volts, we have 1.8 volts. Uh, VMAM, we are getting 1.4 and VCore measured from the back here is reading zero. So what is the problem? I'm not going to continue working on this car today. It's already too late. I'll work on it tomorrow. I would like to get your opinion. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments and I will see you again in the next video.